What up folks, Alex here and welcome to 5 Minute Friday. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a real trendy sort of blurred slash mirrored edge effect that looks something like this. It's a nice little technique which you can use in music videos, B-roll, product stuff, slow motion, that sort of thing. There's plenty of nice little uses for it. Now the tool we're going to use is called the blanking fill effect. It's actually designed to just fill out the edges when your media isn't quite big enough to fit your frame. For example, if you've reported some sort of portrait, photograph or video, it can just blur the edges and give it a nicer look. But with a few tricks, you can actually do some quite cool things with it. So let's open up DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you what's what. Now the first thing you need to do is open up the effects library, open up the toolbox, go to open effects, and then we're scrolling down until you see the Resolve FX stylized category and it's the blanking fill you're looking for. So you just give it a click and drag it onto your timeline. Now you can either apply this directly to your footage or you can use an adjustment clip. So we're going to pop that on there. So with that applied, click on your clip on the timeline and then open up the inspector and then head into the open effects tab. And you should see blanking fill within here. Now there's lots of different categories for you to play with. So we're just going to start off with the source. Now from here, you can zoom in you can zoom out, you can also crop the sides, and you can crop the top and bottom. Now, by default, they're all stuck to each other, but you can just untick these tick boxes to adjust the left and the right, or the top and the bottom, independently. So as you can see, what it's doing is it's cropping in from the sides, leaving us with our actual footage in the middle, and then created a blurred sort of replica around the edges. So what you want to do is just set the crop to somewhere that you want it. I like to go sort of by the edges about there, something like that. And we've got this nice sort of blurred edged border. Now in the fill extent, there's zoom mode and you can change some of the options in there as well. So we've got stretch to timeline by default, which just means it stretches the edges, but it works quite well. We can zoom to timeline. We can set this manually where you can set the zoom and the aspect levels yourself. And then you've also got warp as well. So we're going to stick with stretch to timeline for now. Scroll down a bit further and you've got the fill appearance. Now this is where we can start to make some dramatic changes. The first one is this blend edges. So at the moment we've got this real abrupt distinct border here. If we just adjust the blend edges, we can fade that out. And now we've got a much nicer sort of dreamy looking blurred edge, which looks quite good but it's actually maybe a little bit too blurred for my liking. I don't want it to look that blurry, I still want it to be sort of in focus. So next, change the blur background. We're just gonna drink, bring that down and we're just gonna knock it so it's just a tiny bit out, but not too much. And now we've got this nice looking mirrored, blurred, replicated border, which works really well for sort of a dream sequence or music videos and that sort of thing. Now also, while you're in here, you've got this fade amount. So there's no fade at the minute, there's no difference in colour around the edges, but if we increase the fade amount, we can actually change the colour of that border. So we can go right to the top and it'll become a harsh edge. So we've got this white here. Under there you've got fade colour and you can change the colour of that fade. Now a quick additional tip while we're in here, if we do exactly the same as we've done, but then change the basic colour to black and click OK, it's a real nice way of getting sort of an old TV set style border, like so. That's not what we want for now, so I'm just going to remove the fade amount. And we've got something that looks like this, which works really well. Now, if that's not enough, what you can also do, repeat the process again. So grab another blanking fill, drop it onto your project. In the inspector, open effects, you should now see blanking fill at the top. That's the first one we worked on but underneath that you should see a second blanking fill. So if you double click, you can open this one and you can just repeat the process. So in the second one, crop the edges in again, top and bottom, we're gonna blend that, reduce the background, and now we've got three edges coming in, giving us this really cool zoomed in mirrored effect. And that's it. I hope it was useful. As always, thumbs up if it was, comments and feedback down below. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks ever so much for watching. Take it easy. I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>